morning, I was telling a friend yesterday that I stopped getting invited to these tantra parties. And it was like, he was like, yeah, because you said so much stuff about people. Well, I'm going to say more now because I was like, well, might as well, since I'm out, might as well stay and say the things I want to say the best way possible without getting deported. So there's this big uh, ecstatic dance DJ in town, and he's kind of like a guru around. He came from rich family, uh, American, white man, has an Asian wife now with kids, has another baby with an Asian woman, has another baby with an Asian woman. So there is this kind of my own sort of bias about the white man getting the Asian woman. So that's going to make me more personally invested in kind of helping the world see this man or see the world in a way that's different. But it's not about him. It's about the way the world works. Basically, if you have status already, you have money, you have power, you own parts of the organizations in town, then you can spend your time just producing music and making art and becoming a ceremonialist. It's beautiful. So this is what I see this man's life is like, and people see him as some sort of embodied masculine king energy kind of guy, which is great. But I think it's funded by the fact that he has all this support already. And one of his, and his son is a little dick. Like I remember he scratched some girl's eye at, at this party, little kid. And didn't apologize to dad. He was just like, whatever. And the girl's eye was fucking bleeding. And everyone's so scared of this guy that they, they don't say anything. All right. <laughs> I can't hear. I was just... And, uh... Um... Anyways, so, um... What I want to say is... That... I had a friend who's got, who's got murdered, but he got set, showed me a text. He was trying to do these dances down in Uluwati. And um, he showed me this text. He's like, this guy sent me this, this uh, cause he's trying to get this other DJ to do this party. And he's like, look, this, this guy sent me, the guy I was talking about, sent me this message saying that this other DJ's a, raped, a rapist in other places and showed me this long text. And I was like, whoa. So these DJs, this guy who's like so kingly, right? talking behind people's back, trying to take down other DJs. So this is part of the game that goes on behind the scenes of these people who've taken over here. There's actually uh, a ruthlessness, but in their public persona, it's, hey, we're all one, Rama, Dasa, Sa, Se, So, Hong, Say the Great Mantras, Peace. But there's this kind of like, hey, I need to tell you about this other DJ. I'm actually doing a favor. But meanwhile, it's like, how do you know who's what? Like, how is this guy getting this information? I mean, I've talked shit about this other DJ who got accused of rape, but who knows what the situation is for sure. You know, it's like there was this whole phase of believe all women. So you don't know. People say shit about me, too. And that's the thing. I think why I say stuff now is it's like, fuck it, man. Everyone's going to say shit. I, somebody thought I punched a girl. It doesn't, nothing, none of this makes any sense.